In this module, we'll focus on theories of change, and more explicitly, the role that key driver diagrams play in realizing your vision and achieving your intended outcomes. What is a theory of change? A theory of change is a description of how we believe change will happen. It fills the gap between the current and desired state, illustrating how our collective actions will actually lead to the desired outcomes. In short, it makes visible our beliefs about how we expect change to happen. While a theory of change is a visual description of how we expect a desired change to happen, a key driver diagram is a tool used to organize that theory and make it actionable. It has four main parts. The longer-term equity imperative, or mission. The aim, or intended outcome, linked to that equity imperative. The drivers, or conditions or factors, that enable us to meet our aim. And the change ideas, or interventions and ways we could do things differently. How does a KDD support our improvement efforts? The key driver diagram is used to break down your theory of change organize it into different components, and track your improvement efforts against that theory. Given the complexity of improvement initiatives, no matter the scale, your KDD provides a framework to help ensure community-driven success. At a high level, the KDD organizes your key theories for improvement and the corresponding interventions so participants can find an entry point to start learning and improving. It aligns those working on the improvement project around a common understanding of how their efforts impact their outcomes, which supports distribution of leadership, is a living document that helps your team sequence the work and visualize where more needs to be done. And it documents learning so it can be scaled elsewhere. How do you build a KDD? Like any theory of change, you build a KDD by first identifying the desired aim or goals, and then work backwards to identify all the conditions or drivers that must be in place. And finally, what actions you will take to create those conditions. A simple example would be to imagine that a family is saving money to go on a vacation. Their first step is to set an aim that supports their longer-term goal of increasing their savings account balance for their vacation. Our family agrees to set an aim to decrease their spending by 15% in the next six months. The next step is to describe the drivers. Drivers are the what. What conditions need to be true to achieve your aim? Or inversely, what are the factors that will facilitate or impede your ability to improve? Drivers are most powerful when they are succinct and descriptive. For example, an adjective, equitable, timely, accurate, effective, with a noun. Remember, you're describing what the factor is, not how to do it. Those would be change ideas. Avoid jargon and frame the driver in the positive, ideal state. Drivers describe the main factors leverage points, or ideal conditions that would need to be present to accomplish the aim. They should be descriptive categories to sort and visualize how change ideas interact. How do you identify or discover the drivers? In addition to turning to evidence and research, this is a great opportunity to design with your community of stakeholders. Conduct interviews with those most impacted by the system. In our example on decreasing spending, these would be the different members of the family. Hold discussions with team members who are directly involved in key processes. Engage in root cause analysis techniques such as observation of the process, process mapping, analyzing process failures, or review evidence in the published literature. Continually learn from experience of testing changes. Back to our example. For the family to identify their own drivers, they check out their own families or improvement teams spending and feel affirmed that groceries, goods, and services are major sources of excessive spending. They conclude that more conscious and creative shopping habits would impact their overall spending. They also notice that commuting expenses and utility bills are significant and agree to try to bring down those parts of their budget as well. Change ideas. This is when you get into the how. The ideas that your community thinks will create the conditions required to achieve your aim. Change ideas might come from those impacted by the system and members of the community, your improvement team or other teams, or scientific literature. In our simple home budget example, the person who spends the most money commuting agrees to lead our efforts in reducing commuting expenses. They discuss some ideas with their family and come up with three to test. Working from home more, carpooling, biking to work. 
Now this is starting to look like a KDD. If we work from home, change, it will affect commuting expenses, which will lead to decreased monthly spending. Other family members, aka team members, agree to take the lead on conscious shopping and more efficient utilities. That's where the support for distributed leadership shows up. Those who have different focuses, specialties, or responsibilities can test different change ideas, all with a shared destination in mind. Our aim. When drafting or revising your key driver diagram, it's important that diverse voices and perspectives on the system are included to create a meaningful KDD. Don't get hung up on having a perfect KDD. This is a living document and will be updated regularly with your learning. With each iteration, you will go deeper and reach a stronger shared mental model for change. Shift always encourages teams to hold open the problem space in order to identify multiple interpretations and solutions. It will likely require multiple solutions for multiple perspectives to accomplish ambitious aims. Starting with a basic theory of improvement and a few example ideas is a great starting place. Your community can build and iterate on this over time to learn about the set of changes that work well in your context. Don't forget that your KDD is not a fixed artifact to be completed and put on the shelf. It's a living document that reflects many perspectives, and it should be updated as you learn new things. Improving complex systems is hard work. Continuous innovation and learning are important. To sum things up, a theory of change is a visual description of how you expect a desired change to happen. A key driver diagram is a tool used in improvement to organize a theory of change. It is made up of four primary components, an equity imperative or long-term mission, an aim, drivers, and change ideas. The KDD will reflect the complexity of your aim. Complex and long-term aims will have a more complex key driver diagram. The KDD is a living document that requires many perspectives and should be updated as you learn. For more information about key driver diagrams and other resources, visit the SHIFT website.